Hey everybody, I wanted to make this quick video and uh, go over a question that I get quite a bit. And the question has to do with how to create a template, uh, a my template that doesn't get modified. For example, if I have a template that I'm working on, um, I'm gonna click on this one and let's just edit this a little bit. We'll call it Mark. Okay, so there's my mark template. Okay, I'd like to keep this, so I'm gonna hit either save or select another template. It's gonna ask me to save in my templates. I'm gonna call this mark template. Okay, and save it. And as we all know, it gets saved into the my templates folder. And here it is, right here. Now, let's say I come back to the creator um, a week from now and I want to I want to create another template and I want to use the same one so I'm gonna come here and call my mark template up now uh, I edit this to say Lisa and I move some things around a little bit okay and then when I leave it it doesn't ask me to save it but what it does is, is it keeps my changes in the my template the auto save feature so how do I get this template to stick so that it doesn't change anymore? And that's the topic of today's lesson. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Let's say I'm creating a template. Like, let's do this one. And this particular template, I'm not gonna use this background, so I'm gonna delete it. And let's do um, a different background. Let's say I want a dark background for all my templates send to the back and the pencils I don't want and I don't want this top title text and I want to make this bigger so now I have a template that I like and then I want to keep forever and ever let's delete that so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go up here to the file menu save as and I'm gonna navigate to my documents folder, Laughing Bird documents folder, logo libraries. And here you can uh, create a folder and we can name it anything we want to. Um, um, blog graphics, for example. Okay. Create it. And we'll call this paper logo on black. There we go save it and now you'll notice that when I go and select another template it's gonna ask me to save it I, I can if I want to but over here on the left the, the folder that I created there it is blog graphics it contains my new template now this template forever and ever watch this modifiable design number two Okay, there's my graphic. And now I can save this one, save as, navigate to my documents folder, and I'm already here in, in my blog graphics folder here, so that's good. And I'll call this um, paper logo on black two. Okay, now I have another template. And when I select this, it's gonna ask me to save it to my templates. I can if I want to iteration two maybe and now I'll have both of these designs so I can come back to them if I want to or just keep using this and call this um, something like lesson one and now I can save it uh, just export it as a, as a PNG image lesson one okay and I can come back to that at some other time and call this lesson two. So the same template I'm using, but now I'm just changing that original template and and it's not getting modified, I'm sticking. But if you'll notice in the my templates, I have all my my little iterations that we can eventually delete if you want to but the, 
the trick is to save it at, uh, into your Laughinbird Documents folder into another folder that these will never get changed. The only ones that get changed are the My Templates. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope this uh, opens some of your eyes because, yeah, in my support area, I'm getting a lot of these kind of questions. So leave a comment below if you have any questions or hop over to our Facebook group um, and uh, have fun. <laughs>